Hey, happy Tuesday, everyone. We are tracking this big system right here, bringing us strong winds today, low relative humidity, fire danger, and the cold front brings us storms this evening and colder weather tomorrow. So a lot happening in the next 24 hours. Here's what you can expect. Record highs today going to winter weather tomorrow where we're back in the low 40s below average for this time of year and then tracking a warm up into the weekend. So we are tracking some instability today as the cold front moves on in. We are watching thunderstorm chances. I think we're dry this afternoon. Instability going up this evening mostly south of I-44 and moisture wise it's limited, but we have enough there to support some rain and thunderstorms, and some could be severe. Then behind the front, drier air quickly rolling back on in as we head into your Wednesday. So here's a look at future casts, which brings us rain and storms after 7 p.m. and really mostly south of I-44. By 9, some storms could pack a punch, heavy rain, some lightning, and strong winds the biggest threat. And then by 11, they're in our southeastern counties here in south central Missouri and maybe a few in north central Arkansas. And then we clear out this evening, storms off to our east, but we could see a few snow flurries in our northernmost counties, but we aren't talking about accumulation expected with this. So no snow problems tomorrow when you get out on the roads in the morning. Now, severe risk today did increase. It is a level two slight risk in south central Missouri and parts of north central Arkansas. Level one marginal risk from Rolla down towards Springfield and down to Harrison. And really all of us are looking at the biggest threat being strong damaging winds and maybe some small to quarter size hail within an isolated severe storm. All of us today though, are looking at strong damaging winds regardless of whether you see storms or not. We are looking at widespread wind gusts around 35 to 45 miles an hour with a wind advisory in place across the area until 9 p.m. Behind the front tomorrow, northwesterly winds gusting about 30 miles an hour in the morning, and that's going to create a pretty rough wind chill. By 9 o'clock, wind chills already in the 20s in our northern counties, and then 60s feeling like in uh, Harrison, 67 degrees. That's 9 p.m. Tomorrow morning, though, the colder air here for us all, we should feel around 10 to 20 degrees. Now today, also a big fire danger day. We're looking at a high risk for wildfires across the entire area, thanks to low relative humidity and strong winds. So a red flag warning is in place until 9 p.m. That doesn't include northern Arkansas, parts of northern Arkansas, but even still, your fire threat is high this afternoon. Do not burn. Today, any fires that do develop could grow and spread quickly thanks to wind gusts at 45 miles an hour. So record highs possible today as of about noon. We've already broken a record high in Harrison and I believe Rolla, but don't quote me on that just quite yet. But heading into the afternoon, I think we'll beat one in Rolla, Springfield, West Plains, Harrison, and really across the entire area. This is not normal for February. Then by 8 p.m., temperatures cooling down as the front moves on in in our northwestern counties. All of us tomorrow morning should wake up in the mid to upper 20s, feeling more winter-like. Seven-day forecast, we'll see a few showers and thunderstorms maybe Thursday night into Friday. And then another rain and storm chance next Monday. But until then, a big warm-up this weekend with sunshine and temperatures in the 70s.